Okay, so what we're going to do in these next couple of videos is we're going to talk about uh, projectile motion. Um, it's a special type, uh, type of kinematics with AP Physics 1. It's, it's lumped in with kinematics, um, and you'll see that there will be some questions that address this. You could see it potentially with for your response questions. Um, but first, let's define what a projectile is. So a projectile is any object that is launched into the air and is under the sole influence of gravity. So when we do these problems, the main thing is we're going to neglect air resistance. Okay. If you include air resistance in the problem, then we're gonna then it becomes more of a force problem than it does become a projectile motion question. Okay, so all projectiles, regardless of what they are, are considered to be in free fall. Um, and remember, because they're in free fall, we can use those kinematics equations and more specifically the displacement equation. Okay, uh, to describe their motion. And what we're gonna do is, and I'll just write it in general x because that's what the AP formula chart does. But what we're going to do is eventually we're going to write this in the X and Y directions. Okay. So this will be written as X equals and then Y equals here shortly. Okay. Um, and when you just see it on the formula chart, it's just an arbitrary X. Um, you can easily put D if you wanted to make it less, um, less confusing. Okay, especially when you're dealing with vertical drops and in, in, and you see an X, you're like, but wait a minute, this is the Y direction, okay? So you can flip-flop X and Y as, as you want. So previously, we only dealt with objects that were moving in um, one dimension, okay? Which means they're moving in a straight line, okay? So everything that we did prior was one-dimensional motion. So it moved, the object moved vertically or horizontally. Now what we're going to do is the object is going to move vertically and horizontally, okay? So projectiles only move in a straight line downward if they are dropped. And this word dropped is kind of loose, okay? Um, and so they're only going to move in a straight line if we just drop them vertically. So anything, um, anything that is essentially under, that undergoes this idea that they're under, in, or they're under influence of only gravity is considered a projectile. So when we did do free fall in one dimension, those were technically uh, projectiles as well. Now, in order to model 2D motion, we're gonna split it, or what has to happen is that the, the motion has two independent motions. It has a horizontal motion and a vertical motion. Okay, and we're calling them components. So it's gonna have a horizontal component to its motion, and it's gonna have a vertical component to its motion. Now, the, the key thing about here that you do have to remember is that these motions are independent of each other, okay? So they're, they're not, one does not affect the other, uh, essentially. Um, and so uh, um, there is going to be a connecting factor of time. Remember, time doesn't know a direction, okay? It just knows that you started a stopwatch or some sort of timing device and it's gone. Right, and, and it's going. Um, so time vertically is time horizontally, right? So if you combine them together, which we're gonna do with projectile motion, as you combine them, you're gonna see that this time is going to be the same in both directions, okay? Now, in the next video, we're gonna address how do we um, model, how do we describe these horizontal and vertical motions? Because they're gonna be very independent of each other and they're gonna look differently.